Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. Monochromatic light is incident on a glass prism of angle A if the refractive index of the material of the prism is mu, a ray incident at an angle theta on the face AB would get transmitted through the face AC of the prism provided here we have given four options. Option A, theta is less than sine inverse mu sine into bracket A minus sin inverse 1 by mu. Option B, theta is less than sin inverse mu sin into bracket A minus sin inverse 1 by mu. Option C, theta is greater than cos inverse into bracket mu sin into bracket A plus sin inverse 1 by mu. Option D, theta is less than cos inverse mu sin into bracket A plus sin inverse into bracket 1 by mu. And this question is asked J means 2015. Now, have a look of the options because I am going to erase all these options. Okay. Now, what says the question? Here we have given a prism and having vertices A, B, C. This is face AB where normal is drawn and a ray of incident making angle theta. Here, for Surface AB, first refraction angle that is R1. And for surface AC of this prism from the normal making angle R2. This R2 is incident angle for the surface AC of the prism. And then get immersed. Here very important things. The ray is immersed out from this surface AC. It means here there is no any total internal reflection phenomena. It means this angle of incidence is less than critical angle. So starting from AC, as we know that here R2 is less than C. Here C means critical angle. Is it okay? By using sin R2 is less than sin C. Here, from the law of total internal reflection, we know that mu is equal to 1 upon sin c. Okay, or sometimes it can be written as sin ic. Is it okay? So here we have using this concept sin r2 is less than 1 upon in the place of sin c can be written as 1 by mu. Is it okay? Now for the relation of this prism angle that is A is equals to R1 plus R2. Okay. So here R2 can be written as A minus R1. So now substitute this value. Sin in the place of R2 can be written as A minus R1 less than 1 by mu. So A minus R1 is less than sine inverse 1 by mu. So now it can be written as A minus this value is transmitted or transposing to the left side. Now it becomes A minus sine inverse 1 by mu and uh, this R1 goes to the right side. So here this is R1 positive or it can be written as R1 is greater than A minus sine inverse 1 by mu. Is it okay? Now again using sine angle convert into sine angle this R1. So it becomes sine R1 is greater than sine A minus sine inverse 1 by mu. This is considered first equation. Is it okay? Now, for the surface AB, 
now for surface AB. Here, angle of incidence is theta and this is R1 by again using Snell's rule. Here, mu is equal to angle of incidence that is theta upon sin R1. Then sin R1 is equal to sin theta by mu. This is second equation. Now, substitute this value in equation first. So, in the place of sin R1, it can be written as sin theta upon mu is greater than sin A minus sin inverse 1 by mu. This mu is transposing to the right side become mu sin A minus sin inverse 1 by mu. Now, this uh, theta convert into inverse form because we have given all the options in the inverse form. So, theta is greater than sin inverse and uh, mu sin into bracket A sin inverse 1 by mu. This is the final answer. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.